Here's my boy Danny from The Walking Dead. These uh, LA actors, you know, they think they know what's up, and Danny Glover. Inconceivable! Get that, Karen! Inconceivable! Karen's even coming for you! Asshole, Mark! Get out of my house, Mark! You son of a bitch! Hello everyone, my name is Dan the Wolfman from my MMA and Jiu Jitsu days. Empty, firearm, bolts locked, back, safety's on. Um, but anyway, today's presentation is on selecting the appropriate size buckshot for your home defense needs. And what is right for you is based on a lot of factors such as the longest possible distance in your home or if you're in an apartment. Uh, what directions you might have to fire in, how many walls there are, distance to your neighbors, things like that to consider, as well as height of shot and everything like that. This is also a review of the ATI Bulldog semi-auto, 12 gauge, five round or 10 round capacity uh, as well. So keep that in mind because it's only about 26 and a half inches. So it's a very, uh, has a good ability to maneuver around corners and with little exposure yourself compared to traditional uh, rifles and things of that nature. So this thing has now been decked out pretty good for my home defense needs. On the beginning of the second day, I swapped the sights out to access tactical rifle and shotgun sights with a white and tritium vertical post. It was still hitting uh, low because I didn't have a needle nose pliers. My fingers are too fat and it's too cold to adjust it. It's now been adjusted. There might be a little pendum with a little bit of extra footage at the end. But we're gonna try all the various shot sizes from SMB number one buck. Excuse the autofocus. SMB number one buck, 12 pellet. So a mid-range, low to mid-range recoil option. It says max on it. Fiocchi, Fiocchi or Fiocchi double aught defense. Nine pellet, these are all two and three quarter inch shells, 1250 feet per second. We'll check the patterning on this Sterling big game because it's what I could get cheap on sale. And uh, it's, it's three and a half dram. The more dram means the more gunpowder. So we got three, three and a quarter, or three and a half, sorry, autofocus, three and a half dram. And uh, this is some pretty hot stuff. Is it double aught? Maybe it's more like triple aught, especially compared to American ammunition. And then we have Rio's number four buckshot 21 pellet. Let's see how far this spread. So you're gonna have to consider where you live when we start with Sterling slugs. And at the end, there will be an appendum probably firing the three different kinds of birdshot quickly on multiple targets, guys. Two, three photorealistic targets from targets online. You can use Dan the Wolfman code at various places to get a good discount. And hopefully you enjoy the presentation. Thank you very much. Hey everybody, here's the ATI Bulldog. This thing's only 26 inches long. Watch my full unboxing. Pretty awesome. Now I got the load I think I want to use. SMB number one buck. Buck 12 pellet. Green and white box. No, it's not Remington. Sorry, boy. But uh, SMB... And it says max in the newer loads, where some other ones I had weren't quite as hot in the past. But it says max is 12 pellet. Hopefully it's a high enough velocity to cycle this action out. It's been broken in almost enough. We'll find out. If not, we'll go to uh, some double aught and maybe number four loadings. I got two fresh targets, other than some 22 holes in the A, B zone. Anything outside the B line I taped up already uh, from other training. Uh, I'll do one and one, and we'll see how low we're hitting as well. And I'll just know that for future reference to do some adjustments. Okay, I'll go left and right. Uh, I'll do both eyes open as well because I'm cross-eyed dominant and see if I got the left and right the horizontal as well. 
Get out of my house! Okay, let's see what I did. I should have probably made sure I was centered. I swung a little too much on the right one, uh, but we'll see. Okay, so I got A zone in here. Oh, you can tell, so those were 22s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one a little low. So I got, it looks like I probably got 11 here and just one flyer low out of this 12 pellet number one. That looks good to me. I'm still hitting just a little bit low. Uh, as I thought, I overswung. Overswung on the right target. The bad, bad female over here. Still looks like everything is A and B zone except one right there, and I did over swing, so that pattern probably would have been more like there. Let's use the four more shots. This was five plus, uh, five plus one, so I got four left. I'll do a left to right drill. Actually, I decided to top it off. I'm at five plus one again because that's probably how I'm going to keep it very safely, not where it can drop. I take it out of the safe. I lay it down next to me uh, at bedtime before going to bed. And uh, being careful about drop safe with the safety on, I think I might keep it five plus one. Otherwise, you got to rack it. This might show you why it's better if you get multiple home invaders, why a uh, ATI Bulldog short size might be better than AR to maneuver and expose left, less of yourself coming around a corner. Um, probably film more with that later. Uh, hopefully, the sights are basically on, and I, I, I'm having a tendency to overswing to the right. Okay, so keep that in mind. So I need to work with it a little bit more, transition, and they're very close together. But let's see from here, and then we'll check the targets. Safety off, push button sight. Get out! Okay, keep in mind this is at 11 yards, and more likely I would need this from one to seven, and maybe at nine, 10, if they hid behind one corner and did an extended gun gunfight instead of getting the F out of my room after I just unloaded a few rounds of Num uh, number one buck. I think I'll probably stick with the number one. I will test the double aught. A real body would go to here. A few. That might have been me, though, since I was doing a transition drill. And that's pretty good, except, of course, if those are my groups, I want them a little bit higher. So I need to lower that front sight to bring up the point of impact a little bit, uh, as we knew with slugs. But that's all on target here with a 12 pellet. So, in a lot of ways, for most people, home defense, unless you live in a mansion, I think number one buck might be better unless you have a very long hallway. If it's like 15 yards, you know, or longer, uh, I had one place that could have been a 17 yard had they been right outside the glass window and, you know, you saw them breaking in, they had a gun pointed at you. Um, then maybe like a double R or even a flight control may be better. But most people, houses, I think number one buck may be better. If you're in an apartment, you might want to go to number four. I haven't shot that yet. It's going to spread a lot at 11 yards. At like seven yards, it'd be fine. If you're in a small apartment, a little less, more spread, perhaps more danger if you're not really well trained uh, to keep them all on target, all the pellets on target, but less mass to go through multiple walls. So, you know, it's a, it's a debate, number four buck, number one buck, double odd. But a lot of people can get by without the double odd, I think. We'll do some more testing. Hopefully you're enjoying my uh, video on the ATI Bulldog and choosing proper shot size depending on your distances. Now most are going to be 3 to 7 yards, right? But I'm at 11 yards to show you more of the spread and it's the longest possible really distance of my house and far more likely at, you know, 1 to 7 yards. So this is the Fiocchi double O defense, double at 1,250 feet per second. It's been cycling perfect. With other stuff, this might be a little light. Hopefully it keeps doing good, and then I could choose between this and the number one buck most likely. And we're hitting low, as mentioned earlier. I got three targets set up this time to make it a little more interesting. Five plus one. The reason I'm doing that is because it's easier to grab out of my safe and be ready to go every night. I'm probably not going to switch off of the 10 plus one. Plus, I assume this is more reliable. This may be reliable, but I worry about long-term storage. So even if it can hold 10, I would download it to a 9 plus 1 if you want to keep a chamber loaded. Or just 9 all together. I would download by 1. Okay, so keep that in mind. Here we go. Fioki, double out defense. I got a couple famous people breaking in. Oh! 
Cycled, locked back. This thing's been perfect today with various ammo. All right, shows the light. The little uh, cheap Surefire light's been handling it great. Let's check our hits. Here's my boy Danny from The Walking Dead. These uh, LA actors, you know, they think they know what's up, and boy, they're going to go to crime eventually. Sorry, Danny. Two shots there, all center mass A zone perfectly for two shots. That's tight group. Looks like one group was a little higher and one a little lower, but in general, we know it's a little low, as we discussed earlier, so i got to bring that sight up. But still, that'll definitely drop someone going around the spine, the liver, the kidney. That's Danny, my boy Danny. Okay, Danny Glover, right? Trish really wasn't a writer. He was doing some bad, bad stuff. Sorry, Danny, come on, man. And uh, bad guy over here, I overswung a little bit as I tend to do with bull shots, but look, two shots, tight. So that's, you know, a cheap load. Not everyone can afford to function test with federal flight control. That's more for law enforcement, more at this 10 yards to 15 yards distance. If you're not training at 15, 20, 25, most people don't need that for their home defense. And there's a financial consideration. That's why I'm showing you various loads. All right, now I got the ATI Bulldog loaded up with Rio Buckshot 21 pellet number four buck. I don't think there's a velocity on it. Oh, there is 1345. So it should be hot enough to cycle it. This thing's been great already down to 1250 with the last buckshot uh, double aught. So number four buck, 1345, 21 pellet. You're going to find, I think, that the spread's going to be too big, at least without a choke, um, at 11 yards. So we discussed that earlier about distance. Maybe if you're in an apartment, maybe seven yards, you might want number four buck. Otherwise, I think number one or double aught might be a better choice. Uh, but we'll find out. I'm worried about the spread being a little too big and worry about little children or uh, animals you might have, etc. when considering what buck size. Okay, but this is only five rounds loaded for those that might keep it that way. Be aware, drop safe. It's not drop safe. Maybe if you, you know, shotguns, rifles, if it might fall from a height or fall tall, don't keep them loaded, chamber loaded up high. So I got the safety on. I wake up, I rack it, I take the safety off. Get my light on or temporary on. Inconceivable! Get that, Karen! Yeah, let's check our hits. It's inconceivable that an old group of marauders would be attacking. But SHTF has gotten that bad. They're coming for my food. They're coming for my water. They're coming for my ammo. Two shots on him. Not nearly as bad as I thought. Here in the Glock, all the way to there for two shots. That's obviously not as bad as I thought at 11 yards. Now we got Karen. Karen's even coming for you. We got anti-gun Karen. Ain't so anti-gun anymore. And she's trying to jack your shit the way those people are. Trying to steal your hard work -ing stuff. I got over here and I got two slash three. That would have gone just nicked her. Over here, so I got three pellets that miss. You're responsible for every pellet, but that isn't as bad of a spread as I thought. But that's two shots, okay? I'm Karen, and this guy only got one. So let's see how this old guy got it. Uh, we got here down on the stomach, and it's hitting low because the sights. The sights have been great though. I just need to bring them up. I couldn't do it with my fat fingers today. Uh, here. And I got four in his left arm. Okay, so no misses, but those could have been, right? But that's not that bad. That's one shot. I don't know what the distance of my hand is. I think seven and a half inches is typical male hand. So about nine inch spread, maybe. So that's not as bad as I thought, but maybe just a little bit too much with the number four buck. Again, you might want to consider it depending on your situation, who's in your household, what direction, the longest possible distance for apartments. Number four buck may not get deep enough to get to the goodies after going through a breastbone, ribs, uh, et cetera. Number one will. You don't always need double aught. Double aught's a much tighter pattern though, even with the cheap stuff that you could find. That Dynamics Fioki load, pretty good stuff. So you might find that in a big box store. You might want to pick it up. Number four, maybe just for apartments, eight yards and in, I would say. If it's longer than that, you're going to need double aught. Not everyone can afford federal flight control. Um, the, the cheaper double up buck, I've, I've had different loads I've patterned before. They're not bad. So for that 15 yards and in, you could do with the double up. At 11 yards in, you could do with the number one if that's what you decided. Watch out for kids' height, animals, uh, etc. And pattern with your particular shotgun. 
All 10 rounds of the hot and heavy Sterling big game. Who knows what size hot, hot stuff, I think. Let's find out. Get out of the house, Mark, you son of a bitch. And last one failed to load. I'm still trusting the five round mag a little bit more. Let's see how I did. Why you wait, might want a shotgun, a semi-auto shotgun like the ATA Bull Bulldog short to maneuver for a potential home defense against multiple invaders. Mark, he is no friend of anybody sane. He's gone with his 1330 feet per second, one and three sixteenth outs. His little young croony easily manipulated. He's gone too, overswung a little bit, but even with cheap, double all this in my training round and it's heavier recoil than what I'll use. The ATI has been perfect other than the 10 rounder. All right, little pendant because we were hitting low with the original sights, which made me switch out to the awesome access sights and they are awesome. I played at night with them uh, last night uh, before I left the range once it got dark. And, um, and then I had to do, I did one click left and I did two full rotations. I debated between one and two because I don't know how much it's going to matter. Now, the number one buck is the one I'm hoping to use for home defense. And if not, I can use that Fioki double hot, which performed really, really well. So, uh, let's get going. All right. So, I'm going to go slow and see where we hit a little more safely aiming for the upper thoracic. And if it hits a little high in the neck area, I'll be okay with that. All right. Let's go. Drop that bolt. Thrown hot. Locked open, empty, and on safe. Pointed down range. Let's go check our targets. I'll buy that for a dollar. That's what I want. Now I'm really happy. It looks like I'm on. I think everything's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Maybe I counted one extra. But anyway, all there good. Upper thoracic A and on the B uh, line. That's actually pretty tight. He had 11 yards again, guys. 11 yards with that number one. Number one, SMB, all A, B zone here. And this bad guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I counted an extra there because it ripped it. I got 12 pellets, all A, B zone covered by my hand. So that's actually a six and a half inch spread. That is not a far spread at all at 11 yards. And then this bad guy over here, some uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So a couple low in the spine, stomach, but all these will get the job done. Spine, lung, 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 lung there. Targetsonline.com. Again, you can use my discount code Dan the Wolfman there uh, at Access Sites, at Tolster, at ConcealedCarry.com. All right, awesome. Sites are on. Let's do a quick mag dump with Bird Chat. Now, the Bird Chat hit a little high yesterday compared to the buck. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's have some fun, baby. Get on my hop! Perfect function. Now the 10 rounders seem to function the last two times perfectly. Um, occasionally last round, but I think I'm gonna go. I'm definitely gonna go with this gun now. Perfect function with the five rounder, and I think the 10 rounder is just about there. Fun times with the ATI Bulldog and learning about buckshot size. Bird shot of Penham, 10 yards. I think it's fully reliable now with all the buckshot, even though recoil 1250 and all that. So I trust it with the five round magazine completely. The 10 rounder still, I think there's just the last round. Bird shot, this is only three dram. That's what I got loaded up first, like three, four rounds of this. I think I just fired one to make sure everything was good to go. Then I got three of the browning. That's three and a quarter dram, I think. And then, um, or, yeah, and then Sterling three and a quarter. Or this, then the sterling three and a quarter, then the browning, something like that. Um, now I think the browning was second. Anyway, let's go. Up close, personal bird shot. I do not recommend bird, bird shot for home defense, but for having fun. Okay, here we go. You're an asshole, Mark! And it locked back, no problem with the last round that time, even with light bird shot. The light's functioning fine, little the cheapest surefire I could get when I was on sale. And uh, hey, ATI Bulldog's great. The uh, Access Night Sights 
Let's see now that we're empty, we're locked back. You can see that safety's back on. It's empty, empty, empty. Okay, maybe you can see through the access sights if I can line it up a little bit. With my fogged up glasses, it's getting cold, it's getting dark. That front tritium post is vertical, it's painted white, and it does have a tritium insert. I took it in the uh, bathroom, glowing good. I love access sights. Use uh, discount code Dan the Wolfman at access sights, at, at Tolster Holster, at uh, concealedcarry.com with all kinds of stuff uh, like crossbreed holsters, EDC belts, crossbreed belt, all that stuff that you might need to stay, stay, stay safe, everybody. ATI Bulldog now. It was reliable after the first right range trip. Uh, 10 rounds still needs a little more, but that was fine. Occasionally the last round, I think, is going to have problems. So I would only load it to 9 as I discussed. Guys, please thumbs up, share, subscribe, get in the comments, get my competitors Street Jiu-Jitsu DVD on BJJ Fanatics, and stay safe, everybody. Thank you. Well, I got the XS Sights Tactical Rifle Shotgun Tritium Front Post Night Sight put on backup sight style. But I'll use them primary here on the ETI Bulldog Blaster. Got it decked out before the sights to just about $500 with a front grip and a surefire light. Ready for home defense. Especially now that I got the wonderful XS Sights put on them. Big rear ghost ring I like for use with this shotgun. Illuminated tritium front post with a white vertical stripe for easier target acquisition and low light settings. And uh, there we go, guys. So use code Dan the Wolfman to get 10% off access sites. Look in the full video if you want. Reasons why I think the R3D night sights are the best for your pistol needs with that big, bright, convex phospho around the big, bright orange and kind of subdued, but with tritium in them, subdued rear, the R3D for your pistol needs. And I talk about the other sights, access sights uses as well, the F8, the big dot, etc. So look at the full video and also the full unboxing and the full range review that should be upcoming soon on the ATI Bulldog Bullpop, only 26 inches for home defense. Thank you.